10 himself. So we'll do it in a, a small drill to start with, then we'll put it in a, a game-like situation to finish. And the, the other point I'd really like you to, to concentrate on today is just to watch the running line of the players. It's really important that the players, when they catch the ball, are catching the ball early. Their first step is as straight as possible as it can and then they're able to, to make the defender turn his shoulders because that's what we're aiming to do, is always attacking weak shoulders. So I hope you can watch the session and learn today and uh, we'll have a chat at the end to see how it went. So now we're concentrating on the attack off 10 rather than off 9. So off 10 we're trying to get, again, two forward runners, two back row runners if possible. So he would just set up the drill, uh, five versus three, three defenders defending on the ten, the first forward and the second forward. So ten has the two outside options in the back rows and the twelve out the back with a, a supporting backs player. So we want the ten to be making the appropriate decision. So if he's defender drifts, we want him to show and go. Uh, we want to be watching the shoulders of the, the second and third defender to see where they go to pick the right option. So we're just going to add a fourth defender in here. And we want him to either turn his shoulders in or turn his shoulders out. And for the player outside the number 12 out here, he's got to be looking at that player's shoulders to see what he's doing. It's really important here that the forwards keep their own running line. You don't want them attacking the same space. The inside runner, he's got to keep this defender busy. The outside runner has to keep this defender busy. So they're both running a uh, small unders line. But once the ball is in the hands of the ball carry, the next forward's got to be the closest, got to be the second man in. So he's got to adjust his support line quickly. So that's good work there. Very good work. Uh, took the short ball, the outside runner, uh, adjusted quickly, cleaned out straight over the head of the ball and would have created a quick ball in the game situation. So one of the key things you want to see about good attack is the options that the ball carrier has. Here you can see the ball carrier has three options. He has the short runner, he has the outside runner and this player here should just be up a little bit closer there and then he has another option there. You can see this defender now has turned his shoulders in. So the actual play we should be playing is to the outside here. But when you're looking at, at attack, if you're only seeing this in the frame, then it's not great attack because then this defender knows he can turn in. Now, what you want to be doing is making this defender thinking of whether he's got to turn in or, or stay out. Here, when he's turned in, we should be playing to the outside. If he turns out, then we want to be playing to the inside. The other thing we've got here is nice shape on the ball carriers. The outside man's slightly in front of the inside man. We'd like our number 10 just to be a little bit squarer if he can. But as you can see, he's held up that defender there now quite nicely. option there, hit the runner running short. In all of these drills we're trying to work as much as possible in the normal workspace they work in. So in the game situation that's the space they'd normally normally receive the ball and how much time they'd have for the defender before the defence comes. So workspace is really important in rugby training that you keep it exactly the same as a game. So number 10 at the moment just trying to explain to him that he's got a tendency just to go with the pass because he's going with the pass. He's tending to allow the defenders to drift. So we just want him to keep that a little bit straighter, keep his shoulders squarer. You know, tens always drift, drift, but you want to keep them as straight as possible. If they can go at 45 degrees, we're quite happy for that. So there he does much better. Again, nice and square there, creates a space on the outside. Just explaining to the players there, 
want ideally those two runners to be in, in, in synergy. So running a nice straight line and then both cutting at the same time. So the ten's got that got the option of hitting whichever one because they're holding their defenders there. That's a very good line there from the forward. Got a one-on-one -on -one situation, and then you want the backs. Are, the backs are playing as though they're playing off fast ball here. So flattening up, taking the ball on the line, and keep the ball moving. So that was the best example we've seen so far. option there again although we're practicing attack here we really want the defense to be in good body position all the time so getting their shoulders in the right position so that's a really good example of what we're trying to achieve both of the runners here have committed their defenders, so they can't drift. So therefore now, if there's a ruck there, we've cut out that whole defensive line by having two runners there. Which then means that in this area here, if they've got six defenders, there's going to be more space on the outside. In this drill, we've only obviously got one defender. In the game, there'll be more defenders. But that's exactly what we're trying to do. This ball receiver here has done reasonably well. We'd just like him to be a little bit square, but you can see he's going to commit this defender. And as we play, that creates a space on the outside. So that was really well executed. So that's the whole idea. What we're trying to do is compress the defence to create opportunities on the outside. But to compress the defence, you have to have your 10 in a position where he attracts the defender and you have to have your runners square so they commit their defenders.